Okay, we've just filled the basket um, with one macro bin um, worth of grapes, and I'm just going to distribute this here on, down the top. So there's a lead screw, and then there's a bladder, and the top plate of the bladder is what you see is a stainless steel plate there. And then it's surrounded by all of our grapes and our, our skins and everything, it's called the must. And then the must is surrounded by a basket, which has got uh, a mesh here. This is going to help the filtration a little bit. And then on the outside of the mesh is a stainless steel uh, cylinder full of holes. And so the wine then will be um, pressed as the bladder inflates here. It will inflate, inflate toward the side and it will be pressing the grapes against this screen. And then it, the wine will flow out through these holes, uh, get collected into this basket here and it will drain back into the uh, macro bin as fresh fresh pressed wine. So we've just done the uh, free run. This is what's happening now, free run, no pressing. It's just the wine that separates from the skin by gravity. And um, I'm going to button this press up and we're going to add some air to that bladder and press the wine. Uh, but before we do that I'm going to have to put a um, plastic bag on the outside because otherwise this wine when it's pressed will be spraying off here in various directions about 12 feet. So I'll be putting the bag on and then we'll be pressing. Since this process began this is our first opportunity to taste the wine. We'll catch a little here and uh, we'll taste this free run wine and that'll give us a baseline uh, as we taste the pressed wine. We're going to compare the two. So let's see. Mm. Mm. Very nice, very nice. It's nice and dry, uh, but very young. Still has some yeast in it. I think it's going to be a really nice wine. So now that I've tasted the free run, we're going to go ahead and finish uh, filling the basket, and um, we'll taste the wine as it's pressed. Okay, bag, it's ready for pressing. Okay, let's add some more air. Still very good. No matter how careful I am, I still get purple. Our top pressure, we're pressing at 35 psi. As the pressing finishes, I can remove that outer bag because we're not squirting wine 20 feet in each direction. And uh, the last little bit of wine is being separated from the grapes. Uh, it's a little more tannic, nice and complex. I think it'll be a, a nice mix with the free run. Uh, so this is uh, the very end of the pressing process. We're just going to let it run here for a little while. Um, it's tempting to shut this down early, but that's wine. <laughs> I mean, every minute that we let this run, there's another bottle, so we're going to keep it going. Pressing is complete. Okay, and this is the cake that's been left behind. Notice the bladder has shrunk a little bit, but on the outside, uh, all the grapes are still um, pressed against the side. Okay, I've just turned the basket sideways, and we've got a, another bin here that we're just going to collect uh, all of the pomace in. Okay, we've now emptied the pumice. Boy, this is really rich and uh, full of flavor. And uh, the only thing you can do with this is distill it 
if you want to make grappa. But this year it's going to go back on the vineyard um, as fertilizer. And now the cleaning begins. It seems like half of what we're doing at all times is cleaning.